This is the solution to quiz 14. Okay, so for part A, the exact area is uh, the big ellipse minus the small ellipse. So that is uh, pi times 5.1 times 3.2 minus pi times 5 times 3. Which is, factoring out the pi, Sixteen point three two minus fifteen, which is one point three two pi. Uh, and multiplying that out, that is four point one four seven, rounded to three places. Part B. Uh, we're going to estimate delta A with dA uh, at <coughs> AB equal to 5, 3 and delta A delta B equal to 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Okay, so dA, the differential of A, is pi times B times dA plus pi times A times dB. Uh, therefore, delta A is pi times b times delta little a plus pi times a times delta b. That's a, that should read approximately. So delta a is approximately pi times b, which is times delta A uh, delta A is 0 0.1 plus pi times uh, 5 times 0 0.2 so delta A is approximately uh, pi and factoring out that pi that would be 0 0.3 is the product of those, uh, plus uh, 1. So delta A is 1.3 pi. And multiplying that out, one point three pi delta A is Four point zero eight four. Okay, for part A, plugging that into the calculator, two point nine eight squared uh, times the exponential of zero point zero five. rounded to three places past the decimal is 9.336. Uh, as for part B, we'll use the expression 
z is x squared e to y. So we're going to estimate delta z with dz uh, at xy equal 3 and 0 and delta x delta y equal negative 0 0.02 and delta y equal to 0 0.05. So dz is the x partial, so 2x exponential y dx, plus the y partial, so x squared exponential y dy. Therefore, delta z is approximately 2x exponential y delta x plus x squared e to y delta y. Plugging all the things in, delta z is approximately 2 times x, which is 3, times the exponential of 0, times delta x, which is negative 0 0.02, plus x squared, so 3 squared, exponential of 0 times delta y, 0 0.05. Okay, so delta z is approximately uh, 2 times 3 is 6 times exponential of 0 is still 6. So that'd be 6 multiplied by negative 2 over 100 plus 9 times 1 is 9, times 5 over 100. So delta z is negative 12 over 100, plus 45 over 100. So that would be 33 over 100. So delta z is approximately 33 over 100, which, of course, as a decimal, is 0 0.33. And therefore, the true value, uh, our estimate for z plus delta z, is therefore approximately uh, x squared exponential y uh, plus 0 0.33 and again we'll take xy is 3 0 and plug this in for these so z plus delta z is approximately 3 squared exponential 0 plus 0 0.33. So z plus delta z is approximately 9.33. And uh, I'll add a 0 so that it's three places. And the fact that these are close, the true answer, and the estimated answer, that these are close is good. Okay, so for part A, plug, plug that in. That is to say, we'll compute 13 times 1.03 cubed times 1.98 and then plus 2 times 1.03 times 1.98 squared 
plus six. Okay, so then what does the calculator say about that? So 13, 1.03, uh, 1.03 cubed times 1.98, 2 times 1.03 times 1.98 squared plus 6. Okay, so this is 233.153. Uh, okay. That's to three places past the decimal. For part B, uh, we'll let W, any letter, would be fine. W is f of x and y. And we will estimate uh, the change in W. With, with DW, and we'll do this at X and Y is 1 and 2, and delta X, delta Y equals 0 0.03 and negative 0 0.02. Okay, so then DW is the X partial, so that'd be 39 X squared Y plus 2Y squared DX plus the y partial, 13 x cubed uh, y, so that is all that one gives, and then 4xy dy. So delta w is approximately 39 x squared y plus 2y squared delta x plus 13x cubed plus 4xy delta y. Now we'll plug in all of our data. So delta w is approximately 39 times 1.03 squared times uh, no, not 1.03, 39, let's, let's write it out. So 39 times 1 squared times 2, and then plus 2 times 2 squared, times delta x, which is 0 0.03, plus 13 times 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 times 2 times delta y, negative 0 0.02. So delta w is approximately, uh, so that's 39 times 2. Six times zero point zero three, and then plus thirteen plus eight, maybe twenty one, so twenty one times negative zero point zero two, and then I'll just multiply that out. So eighty six times zero point zero three plus twenty one times 
negative 0 0.02 is 2.16. So delta W is approximately uh, 2.16. Therefore, the value of W that we're looking for, W plus delta W, is approximately uh, F evaluated at 1, 2 plus delta W. So that would be, so that thing evaluated at 1, 2. So that would be 13 times 1 cubed times 2 plus 2 times 1 times 2 squared plus 6 wait a second, 13 times 1 cubed times 2 plus 2 times 1 okay, plus 6 this would be 40 and then plus 2.16 so this would be approximately 42.16 so I can see that these are not close so I must have made an error up here let's, let's take a look at that previous computation so 13 times 1.03 cubed is 1.98 ah yes and then plus ah much better <coughs> so this was my original answer that was my original answer but I can see that these are not close are not close so that means that I should check for an error uh, check for error okay then I plug in again and I obtain my new value that this is uh, 42 point uh, two zero to three places past the decimal, so that'd be two two zero. And this one is one six zero. And now these are close. is good. So it's always important to uh, check the estimate. And that's the answer.